I figure Barsky because our staff is knowledgeable. They're not commissioned salespeople. They uh, actually know what they're talking about when it comes to diamonds. When you go to a lot of places, the stores, the they're salespeople. They can sell diamonds. They can sell rugs. They can sell cars. They can do this. But people, my people, we can only sell diamonds. Mm -hmm. And each of us at least have 20, 25 years experience. Yeah. That's really rare. How why do you guys do it that way? Because it, it makes the customer feel more confident in what they're purchasing, and we can actually steer a person in the right direction to, concerning their job or or how they they handle themselves on a daily activity. All right. That's interesting. And 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 so. Basically, when someone comes in here, if I, you know, today, if some guy comes in here and says, I want to buy a diamond ring, what are some of the things that you take them through to educate them? Because you could exploit someone's ignorance, but obviously you don't. What, what do you, how does it really go? What do you talk about well, when buying Well, we talk about first the girl and how, what her style is and what she likes. And the most, second most important thing to me is budget, because you don't want a guy overspending and end up hating the ring or the process mm -hmm. and what have you. Um... So I would say budget and style, and from that point on, I mean, you just have to remember jewelry is an item of, an object of beauty. You're not buying it to resell it. You're not buying it to make a profit. You're buying it to tell somebody you love them. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's endured. I mean, even if in this recession and everything, people will still buy a diamond ring for their that's right. wife to be, and it's something that symbolizes love. And do you do you think there's anything really important uh, that you, you, you? Some people always want a big ring, and do you try to say, well, you know what? Is it just as important as big ring is it's what the quality, color or the color, cut? the clarity, the cut? I mean, the fact that a diamond's millions of years old to begin with is a special thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And how? What about? I've heard a lot about relationships. Like you guys have people coming in that get anniversary gifts here that got their wedding oh, engagement. Definitely. Yeah. What, why? I have grandchildren happen? of people that my grandfather sold engagement rings to, and that's special because we're a family store and they feel like part of the family. Okay. And how do you guys compete with, with people like Tiffany and Cartier and these huge brands that are global, but yet probably, and I know from my experience, have, you, don't, you don't get any personal experience with well, them? Well, that's what I find ourselves to be more family-oriented, and uh, we get more involved with the customer more than just selling them a product at a high profit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because if you were to, if you could sell them once and get a huge margin and alienate them, well, but they instead, back, yeah, well, they, they buy more. Business, they want their right. family, their friends. So tell me about when you when you sell diamonds. What do you enjoy about it? Um, you, you actually thank you very much. Six thirty. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. What do you guys think of when you what, what pleasure do you get out of the actual act of selling a, a diamond? Like in other words, what, what, what being a part of somebody's. Uh, beginning of their life to be a part of that to me is very special uh, I also like to meet the guy and then uh, you know a couple weeks later see him bring his girlfriend in and meet her and see her expression and I don't know it's, to me it's the beginning of somebody's life and I think I'm a, uh, to be a part of it is special and you also some people I'm sure come back as a couple and buy the bands and stuff exactly. we see them for their wedding bands we see them for uh, baby presents push gifts mm -hmm. uh, graduations you know everything now, diamond rings isn't all you guys deal with. What other jewelry sells here a lot? I mean, is it pearls? Is it, is it color, color jewels? Color. I like color. I like to design different things with different shades of color. So tell us about that. Like the Barsky I, I philosophy on those types of things. You design your own stuff? That design works? my own stuff. I try to buy bigger gemstones that are, mm -hmm. are funky and create things that are one of a kind. And what's the style now? Like, what do you think is happening in jewelry? That's so interesting. Right now, blue and pink is like the hot thing. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been focusing on: blue and pink sapphires. Okay. And then uh, with uh, gold price going up, I mean, well, the average the... ring isn't super heavy. I mean, if you're buying a gold bracelet mm -hmm. or a necklace, you're going to spend a lot of money. But in the sense that it, it, jewelry it in general is a store of value besides a sentimental value. Exactly. Okay. Oh yeah, it has intrinsic value. Um, if uh, last couple, it's like the last things. Are, uh, so for a guy, if someone's trying to figure out where to buy a ring, not saying coming into Barsky, but what are the things they should look for in a store in making their decisions? Commission sales. That's like one of the first questions. Yeah. Definitely certified diamonds. Uh, do they do work on the premises? Do they guarantee their work? Um, Will they clean and maintain your jewelry for free? Mm -hmm. Those are the main questions. Mm -hmm. And most of your competitors on this row can't Everybody's say different. yes to that. But yeah, everyone's different, but most people work on commission. I don't true. think anybody down here is like us. Okay. In my opinion, about how much we care and everything we do for our people. And what's your ambition? Uh, let's say in 20 years and you're running the store. My what is kids, your vision? I want my kids to be here. To want to be there. And, mm -hmm. and so that's your vision at Barsky is just to keep going keep these old-fashioned values. Keep and, going and offer people value and custom-made jewelry. 
and uh, to be part of our family. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if, uh, if, if anyone can do anything to educate themselves about diamonds prior to coming in here, uh, just using the internet, is there something that you I think, think doing research on the internet is great. Um, the only thing, it's not like buying a car part or car stereo. Uh, uh, diamonds are, they can look great on paper, but in real life they could not be brilliant. So it's very important to, when you buy an object of beauty, to see it first. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's always good to get educated first. Okay. I good. like an educated. Okay, so. good. And uh, what are some of the things that you've done recently? Um, uh, like mentioned in your website, like, is there some things you're doing to integrate into the world, the new world around you? That yeah, well, find we, out? we redid our website now. We're trying to make it more of a, not to sell from it, but to show more styles and to show what we do. And we're going to try to update that uh, weekly, monthly. Uh, that's about it. Okay, good. And, uh, any last words or anything that you think now this is kind of like like off kind of even though I'm filming it you're going to have a two to three minute video that's finished and tight about Barsky Diamonds what are the three points you think that that video should communicate that would make you happy whatever they are